Democrats suspect that Yahoo attempting to tilt ha Trump Harris race. Democrats increasingly suspect Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is trying to interfere in U.S. domestic politics by ignoring President Biden's calls to negotiate a peace deal in Gaza by confronting Hezbollah and Iran weeks before the U.S. election. The rapidly escalated confrontation between Israel, Hezbollah, and Isra Hezbollah's ally Iran has undercut Biden's efforts to achieve peace through diplomacy. The growing threat of a broader conflict has opened the door for former President Trump to argue that the world is spiraling out of control on Biden's watch. Biden's polling numbers with Muslim Americans continue to deteriorate amid the mounting violence of the region, which poses a serious political liability to Vice President Harris of Michigan, a must-win state for Democrats. Trump traveled to Michigan on Thursday to speak at a rally in Saginaw. Meanwhile, Netanyahu's relationship with even the most pro-Israel Democrats has become increasingly confrontational. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer made headlines in March when he called Netanyahu a major obstacle to peace and urged Israel to hold new elections. Around that time, Biden calls Israel's offensive in Gaza over the top. I certainly worry that Prime Minister Netanyahu is watching the American election as he makes decisions about his military campaigns in the north and his Gaza, said Chris Murphy. I hope this is not true, but it's certainly a possibility that the Israeli government is not going to sign any diplomatic agreement prior, prior to the American election as a means potentially to try to influence the result. Another 50 billion to Israel! Another 50 billion! Democratic Party, if you support the Democratic Party, I, I mean, you are a pathetic fucking loser. Uh, there's really nothing more to say. I'm sorry for yelling, but like legitimately, what are you talking, like, what are you doing? A poll of 500 Arab American voters concluded, conducted 9 to 20, showed Trump and Harris at a virtual tie, with the Republican leading slightly 42% to 41%. That reflects a huge erosion of support for the Biden Harris administration compared to 2020 when Biden had the support of 59% of Arab American voters. A senior Senate Democratic aide backed Murphy's claims, noting Netanyahu has long been a reputation as a meddler in American politics. We're giving them billions upon billions upon billions of dollars, diplomatic cover, military assistance, direct and indirect, and military troops. A direct, direct logistic support of their military operations. And they're interfering in our elections. People dying in Appalachia? Democrats don't give a fuck. You're right. They don't. If there was an earthquake... If there was a magnitude 10 earthquake in Los Angeles, California today, they would not give a shit. They would give another 50 billion to Israel. There would be more money in the aid package that passed for Israel than there would be for America. I don't think for a minute that Bibi's not doing it just to impact domestic elections. I think he thinks he can get the Jewish vote to swing, but he may get the Arab American vote to swing, the aide said. The Senate Democratic source pointed to Netanyahu's speech to a joint session of Congress in July where he vowed total victory and denounced American anti-war protesters, many of whom are progressives, as useful idiots who help Israel's enemies. He understands American politics. They are 100% involved in American politics. Adding that that view is widespread among Democrats on Capitol Hill. Look at everything that's been happening. 100% interference in domestic policies, politics. He's done it his entire career. Alan Pincus, a one-time advisor to former Israeli Prime Ministers Ed, Ed Barak and uh, Shimon Peres, uh, the former Israeli Consul General in New York, said Netanyahu has played in American politics stretching back to the 90s. Netanyahu has a track record of meddling in American elections. He's been doing it since the 1996 election when he was elected as Israeli Prime Minister and played against Clinton, he said. He meddled several times during the Clinton administration when he aligned himself with Newt Gingrich, he said. Netanyahu supported fundraisers in Israel for then GOP presidential nominee Mitt Romney in 2012, although he didn't actually attend the events. He said Netanyahu kept a low profile in the 2016 election amid widespread expectations that Hillary Clinton would defeat Trump. But in 2020, he was all out for Trump. What is going on here? People are like, Russia, 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 Russia. Why aren't these treasonous? Spies arrested because they've so thoroughly corrupted our government that they can walk around doing these crimes and commit this treason and nobody does anything about it. And this is how you know America's not long for this world. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares that our country is absolutely corrupted and prostrate. Nobody cares. No one's even that mad about it. So this country is not, 
is not going to be winning a struggle with China. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> He also noted Netanyahu was outspoken in his opposition to then-President Obama's nuclear deal with Iran, known as Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. Blasting it is a very bad deal. I think it's reasonable concern based on conversations I've had with Israelis. They understand that Netanyahu is a Trump supporter, and it feels it would be more in his long-term interest to have Trump in the presidency. Asked about Netanyahu's potential impact on the election, Rothkopf, Rothkopf, Noted the Biden administration's inability to bro broker a peace deal despite months of concerted effort, which has become a surpoint with members of the Democratic Party's progressive base. Well, McGurk, who's running the foreign policy, gets to stay in whether it's a Republican or Democrat. He doesn't give a shit about the person he's supposedly working for. And Joe Biden is such a pathetic fucking cuck loser, piece of shit, fuckface, and so is Kamala Harris.